Hey guys, I'm Rehane, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can use Room database in Kotlin, and we will create a simple Note application with Room. Let's start. In this series, I will show you how to insert, read update and delete data using room through a simple note application and there is a main question what is room room database is a part of android component which provides an abstraction layer over sqlite which allows for more robust database access uh, while still providing the full power of sqlite and now uh, there is another question why use room because Room has a compile time verification of SQL queries. And the other reason, it's easy to integrate with other Android components like Live Data. And because of these consideration, I recommend that you use Room instead of SQL Lite. And here there is a tree main components of room entity uh, representation of the table and clone become very easy you have to annotate at entity to a class and the name of the class becomes uh, the table name and uh, data members become the name of the clone and the second one though data access object an interface where we put all our sql queries uh, we don't require to write whole queries now uh, we need to make a method and uh, annotate with a specific annotation you will see how it's work in our project and the last one database this is an uh, abstract class that extends a room database. Uh, this is where you define the entities uh, and the version number of your database. It's contained uh, the database holder and uh, serves as the main access point for uh, the underlying connection. Okay, done with an explanation. Let's start the implementation of room database in android okay guys here uh, i have a new project and uh, here we should add uh, some dependency we need this dependency and also i need add here kotlin dash kept and also i want to add viewbinding here Sync it and okay, I uh, sync it successfully. And also, here I want to add some activity. The first one can be add note activity. And the second one can be updates activity. Yes, uh, so far so good. Uh, just guys, uh, for saving time, I prepare uh, some XML for these XML and just copy and paste my code. Uh, you can see my code on the GitHub source. I uh, put it in the description. Okay, first of all, I want to add uh, main XML code here. Yes, you can see it just this one and here I can add 
a vector. I guess this one is good. Yes, it's done. Okay, and the second one can be our add activity, add note. Yes, this one. I just put my code here. Yes, and here I need another dribble. Yes, this icon is good. Yes, everything looks great. And the last activity is update. Copy my code and paste here. And for this one needs another drawable. This one can be good. Yes, uh, okay, uh, are done with our XML. First of all, I want to create some package here for having a better structure and clean uh, code. First one, I want to add UI and put it all of my UI here. Yes, refactor, please. And uh, we can reload it. it doesn't matter, okay. Uh, another one can be utils. Uh, this one used for general uh, class, for example, constants class. And the other one I want to have for my uh, database. And the other one for my adapter. Yes, great. Uh, I start with my database. And the first one is should be a data class. Can be not entity. Yes, great. And as I said to you, we should use annotation of entity here yes you can see and also inside this I should uh, put my table name and for this one I want to create another class uh, that called uh, a constants uh, here It can be object, yes. Okay, here I want to create some variable. First, I want to create this one for my table name. I can copy this and here use this and select this one and Great, and I can another one for my database name. Yes, and copy and again paste, select, Ctrl Shift U. Okay, so far so good. Here uh, I should put my table name. and just need import that. Yeah, great. Here we can define our uh, field. First of all, well, not ID and then another one for not title, a string. And also another one for my description. Each room entity must define primary key that 
uh, uniquely identifies each row in the database. Uh, the most straightforward way of doing this uh, is to annotate a single column with primary key. Just need to import. Yes. And here uh, we have this field auto generate and we put here true. Uh, we have another annotate here. Uh, if you want a clone to have a different name, we can use uh, this annotate. Assign. Here again, you can name. Mm, it can be not underline title. Also, I can put it for my another field, not underline description. Okay, uh, here done with our entity file, the next file that we will uh, create uh, is DAO. For creating DAO, just need to uh, right click here and choose Kotlin class. And as I said before, DAO is an interface and put it the name. And also here need call dough. Let me import it. Yes, is right. And here we can put all our query uh, that we need. First of all, I want to put insert fun insert note and here just can call not entity note yes great and here we can use uh, a parameter for a conflict between old data and new data on conflict a strategy contents to replace the old data and continue uh, the transaction just need to import it yes it's done and uh, the other function I want to have here update so assign update just need to import it yes is great and need to create a function update notes and here put just our entity and the other one can be delete. Yes, this one. And we need another function for delete. And here I want to uh, create and write a query for getting all my notes and show into my recycle review in the main activity. Okay. Query select a star. A star means all data without uh, limitation or uh, specific data. A star means all data. Select all data from my table. Yes, table. And I can also order my data by sorry let me yes 
uh, not ID. Yes, this one. Yeah, it's great. And the function for get all notes. I want to use multiple list and here just put not entity and I want the other one for select maybe one note. I will uh, tell you and uh, you will see uh, why I create this query. Again, my table name here. I can, yes. And here I use conditional format not ID like, let me, sorry, like that ID. And here I need to create a function get notes id int and it's yet uh, so far so good here just need to remove the space uh, everything is great and the last step uh, for our database here uh, we should create uh, a database class. Let's do it. Okay, here uh, I want to create another class for my database. And as I said before, uh, database class is abstract. So add it here. And also I should add annotated. Yes, and here import it, and also here, uh, first of all, I should add my entities. Yes, entities, and now I just one entity. Yes, great, and the other thing here I should add is version, and just uh, please attention every time when you change something in your entity class you should change your version number before run or release your app for example you uh, change uh, a field name or maybe you add a new field you should change the version uh, number okay uh, inside my um let me before writing code inside my uh, database class uh, first i should extend uh, my class from roam database just let me import it yes great and here again abstract function from my not DAO. Okay, uh, everything is done, and uh, now I can start to create uh, and working with my other activities for adding notes, editing notes, and also deleting notes.